Hey there, welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, like always, I appreciate swinging by and watching a review. Uh, tonight, I'm going to take a look at one out of uh, R. Shea Brewing out of Akron, Ohio. This here is their Extra Galactic Origins. It's a seasonal. It says Cranberry Sauce is the name of it. A special seasonal goza with cranberry, orange, and ginger. Coming in at 8% uh, alcohol by volume and 11 IBU. I had to look up the IBU on uh, Untap there. See R. Shea Brewing right there, Akron, Ohio. And we got a little bit of reading uh, right here on the side. I'm going to go ahead and read that. It says, this goza features a holiday favorite cranberry sauce. This recipe came from Andrea, the wife of Brian, one of our brewers. We merged her recipe with this goza to create a unique sensory experience. Happy holidays from R. Shea. So, artwork on this, three and a half out of five. You got like the uh, oranges, the cranberry, and like a... Uh, like a cloud here, like an orbit, like a, you see like a little dust trail behind it, a little, little orbit trail behind it there, Extra Galactic Origins, part of their uh, Extra Galactic Origins series, which I did have uh, Goza from them earlier this year, that was part of this. So, I'm going to crack this open and uh, see what it's all about. So, while I'm doing that, uh, be sure you like, uh, subscribe, uh, comment. Hit that notification bell down below. Check me out on social media. We get a little poor here. Uh, developing a little bit of a head. I didn't expect much of one. Uh, with it being a fruited, uh, with it being a goza style, I don't produce a tremendous amount of head on top of those things here. Uh, sizzling away. Um, very, very well carbonated is the way it's looking here in this glass. Color wise, just a light orange, almost a pinkish tint to this here. Uh, very hazy. I can't see through it, but I can see a silhouette, shadow of silhouette of my fingers moving there. Uh, head is pretty much gone on top of this here. So if we look at that, it kind of looks like a, like a, uh, some type of fizzy soda pop with that weird color and everything. So as far as aroma... So, it's this crazy mashup of cranberry, orange, and ginger, just like it says there. Very, very spritzy um, appearance to this, just a spritziness across the top here. I can't help but think like a soda pop. I can't help but think that as I'm getting this nose on here, almost like a ginger ale, like a cranberry ginger ale uh, type of uh, aroma coming off of this. It is 8% alcohol by volume, so it is up there a little bit. I hit no hints of a booziness in the nose here, so uh, let's get a drink on see what it's all about. So... For 8% ABV, first off, mouthfeel, carbonated, spritzy, fizzy mouthfeel. Uh, very much on the lighter side, body-wise. Very much a thin bodiness to this. But it drinks so much, so much like a soda pop. Um crazy so it's like a cranberry I pick up I do pick up orange I pick up my and nothing's crazy dominating over the other uh, flavor but I get orange I get the cranberry mild ginger as you know, if you followed me, I'm not huge on the ginger. Um, so it's very subtle on the ginger. But it's a nice cranberry and um, orange, kind of like a, like a juice, like um, a cranberry juice. Excuse me, and some type of a mild, not real tangy orange juice. 
kind of mix them together there uh, and then carbonate it. I don't hit, I don't uh, get any hints of that booziness at 8%. Um, I thought it would be kind of a dry finish on this, but I get a nice sweetness coming through in this thing. So this is only the second beer that I've had from Arche Brewing. And I'm happy with this. I was happy with the first one. Um, this one, I, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. As far as scoring this here, man, not quite a four and a half, but damn close, I think. I give it about a 4.35 out of 5. Uh, this is good. Um, you know, this is something. He says cranberry. It's got the, the holiday theme going on. This is a, I'm getting close to wrapping up my holiday beers. Uh, this may actually be the last one that I record this year. I do have another cranberry one. Um, I might go ahead and do that. I'm not sure. So this could be the last one I do this year. But um, if this is the last one, you know, it's, 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 I'm going out on top. This is a good one right here. So a uh, 4.35 out of five. Um, you've had this before. Let me know what you think about it. Like, subscribe, comment, check me out on social media, hit that notification bell.